the world's fastest limo driver, the flat earth rocket scientist that doesn't believe in science. Mad Mike Hughes is going to launch his rocket and it's coming soon. I'm Zach, this is Zach DTV, and I think we need to take a look at this. This is an update to a previous video I did. I've gotten a lot of requests to cover this and just to uh, let people know what's going on. Well, now there is some new information, so I want to bring you all up to date. For those of you who are new to this situation, Mad Mike Hughes is a stuntman from California. He's a full-time limo driver and a part-time rocket scientist. He builds and launches manned steam-powered rockets in his own backyard. And I mean, this isn't a pipe dream either. This guy did launch a steam-powered rocket while he was riding on board. It's truly a pretty amazing feat. However, it does seem like the landing didn't go so well. He did have to get pulled out of the rocket by his friends. There's word that he might have broken his kneecap and uh, just never went to the hospital. Because not only does Mad Mike Hughes not believe the Earth is round, not believe in science, but he doesn't believe in healthcare either. Well, back at the end of November of last year, he was supposed to do his biggest launch ever. He's going to reach heights of 1,800 feet. I think he said he's going to travel a half mile or a mile in distance. A pretty epic feat. It seems that Mike also doesn't believe in government permits either. Because as launch day approached, he found that he didn't have the proper clearances from the Bureau of Land Management to launch from the land that he had decided he was going to use. He was also scheduled for a launch earlier that same year, but that one got scrubbed too. So this is the second time he missed the launch. Well, after that, things went a little sideways for his plans to make this rocket launch. He was going to do it on private property. I guess he has a buddy who owns a small ghost town in Amboy, California. That was going to allow him to launch and land on his property. Unfortunately, it seems like there wasn't enough room there. And that's kind of where the story ended. Well, now here's the update on this information. Mad Mike announced that he will be doing the rocket launch on February 3rd. That's Super Bowl weekend, and that's what, only two weeks away. Not only is he going to launch on February 3rd, he's also made some changes to the way he's going to launch. Instead of going for distance horizontal, he is doing a vertical launch, pretty much like what SpaceX does. In fact, he shared these images of how he redesigned his tail section to handle the vertical launch. At the same time, I have to wonder how much of this redesign is really for the vertical launch, or is it just to repair some damage that may have happened in transportation? I'm not sure. It also seems that Mad Mike has teamed up with a production company who are putting together a documentary on his adventures. From what I found, I think that might be Noise TV. I know he is contracted with them. They're going to carry the live stream. And there's a small streaming company out of Las Vegas. I know their app on Android has 100 downloads and I couldn't find any information on website visits, which makes it seem like they're getting less than 100 a month. But maybe this will be what brings them a little bit of business. I will put a link in the description down below, so that way if you want to go check out the Noise TV website, you can. The live stream is going to cost you $5, and I guess that gets you a month of other content as well. On his Facebook page, I also found this. This is a model of his raccoon because he plans on being the first man to put himself 61 miles up in the air on a balloon with a rocket attached to it. And that way he'll be able to prove the Earth is flat once and for all. I'll tell you what, that is a high quality prototype, right? Before a quick wrap up, Mike will be launching a rocket. He will be doing it on February 3rd, that's next month. He plans to launch vertically, so he's not dealing with the government. He's going straight up and straight down on his buddy's property. No need for permits. And the live stream will be carried by Noise TV has five dollars to get your hands on and all i have to say now is mike no more excuses man it's time to do a launch i hope you make it back to ground safe and everything goes well i look forward to this attempt and what do you guys think i don't care about the earth being flat or round do you think this is a good idea for a 61 year old man to pile himself in a steam-powered rocket or is there better things this guy should be doing with his life let me know in the comments down below and remember if you enjoyed this episode make sure to click that like button and subscribe so you know when I put out something new. I usually release new videos Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, so I hope to see you here again. And until next time, have fun and be safe.